Hi guys, this is Promise and I'm about to show you guys how to make an avocado deep conditioning hair mask. So here are some things that I found in my kitchen that your hair is going to love. So first I've got the eggs and eggs have a lot of protein which strengthens your hair that has either been damaged by heat or chemicals making it silky and shiny. And then we've got the bananas and bananas are full of vitamins which makes your hair more manageable, healthier, hydrated and also controls dandruff. And then I've got the avocados that contain minerals and vitamins B and E which helps in hair growth and it also conditions and moisturizes your hair. And now the honey. Honey is a natural moisturizer because it attracts and holds moisture. You can also use it to lighten your hair and make color treated hair more shiny and alive. And then we got the olive oil. Olive oil does wonders to dry hair. The oil easily penetrates your hair and nourishes conditions and improves the elasticity of your hair. And finally we've got the mayo. And mayo rejuvenates your hair by providing nutrients to your hair making it soft and shiny. So I won't be using everything that I just showed you guys for this particular hair mask but since they're all great for your hair, you can mix and match them according to what your hair is in need of the most. So first I'm going to take an avocado, cut it open and use half of it because my hair is about chest length so it should be enough. Then I'm going to peel it and use my spoon to make it as soft as possible. I'm done pressing the avocado, now take half of a banana, if you have a rotten banana it would be a better option, but if not just take a regular banana and crush it with the avocado. Next take an extra virgin olive oil and pour in about 2 tablespoons of it onto the mixture. Then take an egg, crack it open and mix it up some more. The hair mask is almost ready. Now I gotta use the blender to get rid of the chunks of banana and avocado. If the mixture isn't smooth and even, it's going to be a pain washing the chunks out of your hair. After you've blended everything for a minute, the mixture should now look really creamy and smooth. It looks so good that it's almost good enough to eat. It's time to slap on the hair mask. So just to keep my clothes safe, I'm going to throw on a towel over my shoulder and clip on the neck to secure it. Since I don't want my hands to get messy, I'm going to put on my plastic gloves and then apply the mask starting from the top of my head. And make sure to nicely massage it into the roots of your hair. Now I'm going to work my way down to the ends. After you've generously applied the mask to your whole head, take a shower cap or just use a plastic bag like me and tie it over your head. This way the mask can fully absorb and work its magic. Now wait about 20 to 30 minutes. Hop on the shower and wash everything off. Now your hair should look more healthier and hydrated. Keep up this routine every once in two weeks to really make your hair happy.